What's going on you guys? Bigby75 here, aka Vince Slino. Today I'm reviewing another trailer, and it is the trailer for Lightyear. Much like uh, when the trailer for Toy Story 4 came out and I randomly woke up at 4 in the morning to watch it, um, this trailer came out of nowhere. It dropped um, around 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, yesterday. Can't believe they dropped it. I have been looking forward to this movie ever since they announced it. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go right into the reaction. Let's talk about the first teaser trailer for Disney Pixar's Lightyear. The trailer for Lightyear just came out of nowhere. Dropped about an hour ago. And I'm assuming this is going to be attached to Encanto. Uh, I didn't really need to theorize about that too much, it's kind of a given, but uh, it's here. So let's take a look. He's got the little, little thing on his chin. Is that an eye on the fetus cell? There he is. Cool. He looks like Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> what? He's flying into the sun. Is Starman? He's got brown hair. <laughs> they show the suit to infinity and wow <laughs> this is gonna be so cool oh my gosh it looks so different from his costume it looks so different from the original but at the same time it looks perfect like it just looks like buzz like ah. this is gonna be awesome this is gonna be awesome i can't believe it what a trailer man uh there's just so much to take out of that um first and foremost Buzz Lightyear. Uh, I think he looks great. People are kind of weird out like, oh, Buzz has hair. I didn't know. I, it feels weird seeing Buzz with hair. Well, he's a human. He's got hair. So, <laughs> it's never been a thing, a, a bothersome point with me. I never thought like, oh, he doesn't have hair under that, that uh, space cap or whatever. And if you're a Toy Story fan, you see fan art, uh, you, you'll see some, some stuff of like, People make fan art to like Jesse and Buzz, and, and you've seen Buzz with hair, so I, I don't know. I, I think a lot of friends of mine who are Toy Story fans online are very happy about the, the um, their drawings being made into uh, canon for Buzz Lightyear, so uh, I'm very happy for them. Um, I, I think he looks like a great marriage of Chris Evans' likeness and Tim Allen's likeness and just Buzz Lightyear the toy. I think... He looks like all three, like the perfect combination of all three is what his face looks like. I see little Tim Allen, I see little Chris Evans, and uh, you know, it, it's a great amalgamation of Buzz Lightyear. I love he's got the big, like pronounced chin jawline, like it's just huge compared to the rest of his face. Um, and uh, I, I'm surprised that I, Chris Evans' voice, even though we only heard him say one word in the trailer, the surprise that he, he's fitting into that, like, you know, I have Tim Allen so um, merged in my head with Buzz Lightyear, I can't imagine anybody else, I guess, outside of Patrick Warburton, but still, like, Tim Allen is Buzz Lightyear, um, but Chris Evans is, again, with the one phrase and, and little grunts and growls throughout the trailer, 
he seems to be fitting in the role pretty well. So I'm I'm still very um, very excited to see him fully take on the role. I hope we get some sort of voice cameo from from Tim Allen. That would be really really nice. We see several new characters. Um, a Alicia Hawthorne. Uh, who seems to be like Buzz's partner slash maybe love interest. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool. Uh, there's a character named Burnside who may be a commanding officer. Maybe um, someone who uh, is like a superior, superior of Buzz and, and keeps him from achieving uh, greatness and going to infinity and beyond. Because he is just a test pilot in, in the first half of this movie and, and uh, we see how he becomes a space ranger. Uh, we see uh, several robots, one named Eric and another that appears in like the Dagobah type area, um, which looks cool. I like the designs of the robots. It looked kind of like Wally. It'd be really fun if we saw like a little Wally cameo in the middle of the movie, like in the background, or maybe Wally just straight up shows up in the movie. I don't know. Confirm the Pixar theory. <laughs> we also see a robot cat. Uh, which I've heard features prominently in this movie and um, has a lot of secrets and, and fun uh, surprises. I have no idea what that's going to entail. I thought that was the most off-putting part of the trailer. I was like, okay, this epic, awesome sci-fi action animated movie. He's got a robot cat. I don't know if I like that, but I mean, you know, it's Pixar. I, I trust them. And I think it'll be a great comic relief Um element to to the film we got saw a brief glimpse of zerg and his lair and his rope and his zerg bots the zerg bots are definitely different from the original toy story which i'm not sure if i'm happy about i mean i wish they would kind of stay faithful to what they had established previously with them being on the wheelie legs and maybe beef that up a bit but they do look cool so i mean maybe that maybe there are uh other versions maybe uh the version of Buzz that we're looking at in the Toy Story world is based on like the video game stuff and the movie version is the more, um, you know, rustic, more gritty version. Uh, you know, who knows? Who knows? But uh, I do like the design a lot. And uh, I do think we get a sneak peek of Zerg, which again, changing the canon a bit if this is true. He doesn't have a cape, which is not the biggest thing, and he's walking. He doesn't have the wheelie things, and um, I mean, if this is an origin story where, like, whoever Zerg is, he's not even fully Zerg yet, uh, it'll be interesting to see how he evolves from being a walking person or robot to, you know, being on wheels. If that's what they're gonna do, I, I just I don't know. But I, I was off-putting as well to see Zerg walking around. If that is Zerg, it could be one of his minions just walking up to a ship, like one of the commanding minions, and that like sliding door uh, chamber could be where Zerg is. Maybe he's doing some sort of Darth Vader the Bath the Tanks in Star Wars. Maybe maybe Darth Vader has Darth Vader. Zerg has one of those. I just think the visuals are fantastic. It has this old school feel to it while still, it feels like an 80s, 90s science fiction action movie. Like it feels like Iron Giant or The Last Starfighter or even Star Wars at times, and uh, but still having its own identity, which is really, really awesome to see. And I, I like that they're trying to make it for the times that the movie in the Toy Story universe would have been released in and not just like, oh, let's make a modern day Buzz Lightyear blockbuster. Because, I mean, that's, I mean, that'd be fun, but like, we, we want it, you know what we want to see. We want to see the movie that Andy watched that wanted him to get the Buzz Lightyear toy, uh, which will in turn make us all want to get more Buzz Lightyear toys. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, and last but not least, let's talk about the suit. I think the suit looks awesome. Buzz Lightyear the toy is very sleek and simplistic in his design. This adds a lot of um, a lot of detail to the suit. You know, there's numbers um, on the buttons. There's little slots and and divots and grooves and stuff. And it, it's interesting to see how they integrate all those elements, like the the gray. Um, 
uh, shoulder and elbow joints and the, the black piece that kind of connects the arm to the rest of the body. Uh, you see like the, the arms and the stickers and his helmet and you don't see the wings. I think that's very intentional. They're keeping the wings a secret for now, but um, you see all that, all that detail and it's so cool to see. It looks like Buzz Lightyear, it really does. Um, but it looks like a very um, just updated, grittier, very practical for an animated movie. Very practical suit. Uh, I, I, I didn't think that the toy version of the suit was going to be copy and pasted into the movie. Uh, and I think it's funny that this suit is very slim. It, it seems like it's, it's a very tight fit on, on Buzz. Whereas, you know, there's jokes that Buzz is kind of fat <laughs> in the Toy Story movies. One thing I noticed in the trailer that might give us a clue about, like, the plot and what's going on in the movie is um, there's a lot of talk about, like, hyperspace travel. Or not a lot of talk, but a lot of... There's a lot of little uh, nods to hyperspace travel and that Buzz is doing, like, test runs around the sun. <clears throat> and maybe that's, like... The, the distance he can go as, as as far as he's allowed to go and he's also flying through like these rings I noticed something in the uh, teaser announcement with the the Lightyear logo you see like we're, we're going really fast through these rings and you see all these flashes of green purple and blue and th th that looks like hyperspace travel for Buzz Lightyear uh, or hypersleep or whatever it is um, so those rings must have something to do with traveling through hyperspace. And it's interesting that no one else has picked up on that, that the rings are essential somehow to space travel or hyperspace travel. So I thought that was an interesting thing. And that, that's a, I think that's a good clue. If you look back at the trailer, you'll see a lot of little nods to the rings on the whiteboard, just the shot of Buzz flying his ship through the rings. Um, I think there is something to that in terms of the plot and what the, the, the main goal is for Star Command or Buzz and what they're trying to accomplish, whatever that may be. And I know there's hope that uh, the, light, the Buzz Lightyear Star Command characters are either alluded to or actually appear in some way in the movie. I don't know how likely that is. Um, I would like to see it. I'm a fan of that show, but I know Pixar doesn't have the, the, the highest regard for that show, so we'll see what happens, you know? There's a lot that could happen in this movie. There, I would love it if there was some sort of, uh, like, like post credit scene where you would see Woody and Buzz and they're watching the movie and they react to it or something. I don't know. This is a great way to continue the Toy Story franchise. If Toy Story 4 is truly the end, which I don't think, I think they're gonna make Toy Story 5, then this is a great way to continue more stories with Buzz Lightyear and even Woody. I mean, I, I could see them doing a Woody uh, movie, like a Woody's Roundup movie down the line if they if they choose to. I, I think both of those both of those films would be very successful and, and Lightyear will definitely be a big hit. And those are my thoughts, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this trailer reaction. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Check out my short films other trailer reactions, and subscribe to my podcast, The Vince Lerno Podcast, which I'll be posting more episodes of uh, hopefully soon. Work has got me really busy, so, you know, got to put bread on the table somehow. <laughs> All right, thanks guys for watching. Have a fantastic day to infinity and beyond, and all that jazz. God bless. <laughs>